Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is daily devotion number 229. Our today's meditation is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verse 38. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. One of the things we're going to discover on a road to recovery from our hurts, habits, and hang-ups in our life is that we may want to follow Jesus Christ and turn things over to him to trust him, but we also have this other fleshly thing at large in our being that's weak that just gives in to temptations and we fail. This sounds like the pattern in our life. We have good intentions, but we keep failing to do what we intend. But God gives us the strength if we would just follow simple little steps. And one of them is to watch and pray. One of the things that Jesus Christ was telling his disciples before his arrest, his trial, his crucifixion and his resurrection is to do what he was about to do, which is to watch and pray that evening for what is to come. He knew a temptation to come, a great temptation to avoid the cross that he needed to bear. One of the things that you're going to discover is that you're going to have to do the painful thing, the hard thing, the thing you don't want to do, your cross. You're going to need to do that, pick it up and carry it in order to move forward through the barriers that have held you back. In order to do that, you have to watch for what cross Christ is asking you to bear, the cost of. It might be forgiving someone, letting go of something, talking to someone you didn't want to talk to, maybe giving up a habit or a place or a person that has become very harmful in your life. Whatever that cross you must bear to move forward, there's new revelation and there's new life on the other side of that, but we have to watch and pray for the next thing that God is asking in our life. And there's always the next thing. And if we can do that, we can avoid the temptation, which is to avoid the hard thing and to just pretend it'll be okay. But God, when he moves us forward, he moves us into the hard thing, the cross bearing, in order to find the revelation, the truth, the reality, the power and the resurrection and the transformation that we really need in our life. Our prayer today is this. Dear Lord, I ask for your help as I discipline myself to watch and pray for the sake of the kingdom and for my own life. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us continue to pray. Lord, we're keeping watch right now with my brothers and sisters of our life. And if there is anything we need to surrender, Lord, show us this day, in this moment, what it is. If there's a hard thing that we need to do that you ask us to do in obedience to do, Lord, show us what that is so that, and give us the courage to do that thing so we can be set free. If the Lord, if there is something we are to walk away from and to leave alone, Lord, show us what that is too so that we can avoid the temptations that are there. In all these things, O God, we pray that you would continue to guide us this day in each step, as long as it is called today, into your perfect will. And Lord, when we fail, and if we do, we pray that you would help us quickly recover, quickly confess, quickly yield it to you, and start again on this journey. We thank you, Lord, that you are there to guide us each step of the way. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. God loves you so much. I'm so glad you're part of Daily Devotion. You keep coming back. I hope you're encouraging other people to join us as well. If you'd just take a moment and leave a comment below and let us know what God is doing in your life today. That would be a great encouragement to us and an encouragement to other people. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too.